Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to continue our UI design for our dance chat app. Before going to video, if you didn't subscribe my channel, click that subscribe button and enable the bell icon. Then you will be notified when new content uploaded. The link for the first part of this video is provided in the description box. Watch till end for the best results. So let's dive into the video. We want another screen named recent for the recent chats. So let's add a screen named recent and let's add a list viewer set the height and width to fill parent let's customize our colors so set the background color to white and set the selection color to a light green ok done set the text color to black and text color detail to dark gray ok now let's hide this and let's add a button set the text of the button to broadcast ok now let's set the shape of the button to rectangular and width of the button to fill parrot let's change the font type face to monospace and set the text to bold and change the background color to orange maybe yellow now let's add a horizontal arrangement and let's put this inside this let's add another button and let's change the horizontal arrangements with to fill parent and background to black ok now let's change the properties of the button so let's set the background color to black and let's set the font bold now let's change the button to a square I'll set the height to 30 pixels and width to 30 pixels. Okay, let's change the shape to rectangular. Let's set the text to an emoji. Instead, you can use an image. I'm just using this emoji. Okay, now let's add another horizontal arrangement and let's set the background color to black and the width to fill parent. Now let's add a text box and set the background color to white, set the font to bold, set the width to fill parent and set the hint to type here. Okay, now set this to multi line. Let's add another button in the horizontal arrangement and change its properties. We also want to change this one to a square, so let's set the height to 30 pixels and width to 30 pixels. Now clear the text. Let's change the height of the text box to fill parent. Now I am going to upload an image for our button. If you want to use this image, the link for the image is given in the description box. Let's try a white background color to our horizontal arrangement. Now let's show our list viewer and set that above these two. Okay, done. Okay, now let's add another screen named chat for the individual chat interface. Now let's do some recent things like add a list viewer and set the background color to white, change the height and width to fill parent. Set the selection color to gray and the text color to black and let's set the text color detail to dark gray. Okay. Now let's go to a recent screen and we want to replace our plus button that is the add button to a list speaker because we want to add a new context instead of this button let's use a list speaker ok now let's change some properties set the item background color to white and item color to black set the shape to rectangular and check the show filter bar now let's change the text to that image set the font to bold 
let's set this to a square so let's change the height and width to 30 pixels each let's go back to chat and let's add a horizontal arrangement let's hide the list viewer set the width to fill parent and background color to white now let's add a text box and a button set the text box height and width to fill parent set the background color to white and let's change the hint to type here check the multi line check box ok now let's change the properties of the button let's change the shape to a square so let's give the same properties as before set the image to recently uploaded image and let's delete this text ok change the shape to rectangular now let's show our list viewer ok let's change the names of our components Okay now let's check our app The plus emoji is not visible in our app so let's replace the emoji with the text so set the width to fill parent set the height of the text box to automatic and let's enlarge our button set the height and width to 60 pixels Repeat this process for the chat screen also. Now let's go to the recent and change the text.
set the text to add let's give some change Let's use another image in the send button. Let's save that in chat also. This will take some time to upload the image. Okay, now let's check our app. That's it for today, see you in the next video.